Hey guys, Chris from AxeFX Tutorials here, and today Fractal Audio released firmware version 14.01 for the AxeFX 3. Now there's a bunch of cool updates here, but we're going to focus on this one here, added second source to modifiers. I just wanted to do a real quick video getting you started on using this. This update gives us two sources now per modifier. Before we only had one source and it could be a pedal or an LFO or something like that. But now we can have two separate sources controlling the same modifier. So one way to use this is to have two physical expression pedals controlling the same wah block. So let's say on stage at your microphone position, you have one of your expression pedals. So you can play guitar, sing, and use the wah. But let's say you walk around the stage and have a second position on stage where you also play a big guitar solo and you need a wah pedal as well. Well, now we can do that. So right here, I have an FC6 plugged into my AxeFX 3, and I have two pedals plugged in. This is in pedal jack one, and this is in pedal jack two of the FC6. So to assign both pedals, all you would do is on source one, and you have to assign source one first, click that, and I'm gonna choose FC1 pedal one. That's this EV2 right here. From there, you just go to source two and choose FC1 pedal two, and it's this boss pedal here. Now I happen to have them in pedal one and pedal two jacks on the FC6, but you can use three and four, one and four, you know, any combination, but I'm just choosing these for now. Now there's a new important parameter, and it's called operation you can either have source one and source two add, subtract, or multiply. And I'm not gonna get too much into that right now, but I'm gonna show you how this affects using two pedals on the same source. So we're just gonna leave it on add right now. And in this short preset, I have a looper playing an award-winning loop, and then I have the wah block. So if I go ahead and play the loop, we'll hear that the wah block is on, and then it's just parked at the bottom. So I'm gonna play the loop and then change pedal one. This is how it's been forever. We've had one pedal connected to the wah block and we'll show that it works. Okay, now I'm gonna play the loop again and adjust the second pedal. I haven't changed any settings. It's just gonna work, so here we go. Now, of course, we can use both pedals independently. And again, if your stage setup is one by your microphone and one way off to the side, you'd never use both pedals at the same time. So I'm just gonna play the loop again and adjust both pedals separately. All right, now you may have noticed something. When I was done using this pedal, I made sure it was parked at heel down. And when I was done using this pedal, same thing, I made sure it was parked at heel down. This is important due to the setting of the new operation parameter. Right now I have the operation parameter set to add. And real quickly, all that means is the value of source one will be added to the value of source two. When it's set to addition, all you need to know for two pedals is that you have to park both pedals at heel down to get the full range of either pedal at any given time. Watch what happens if I leave pedal one toe down, you know, all the way up, and then try to adjust pedal two. Nothing happens because pedal one is all the way maxed out, so there's nothing more to add. You can't add more than the full value here on this graph. So if you have the operation set to add, if you're using two pedals to control one parameter like the wah, make sure you park your pedals at heel down position so when you do go to the other pedal, you can use the full range. Now what if you like to park your pedals at toe down instead? Well, you can do this, and instead of choosing addition for the operation parameter, you would actually choose multiply, this times here, this X. So source one times source two. Now, in order to get the full range of both pedals, you need to park your wah at toe down. So now both pedals are toe down, fully up, and I can use the full range of both pedals. So this operation parameter is set to multiply, meaning source one's value will be multiplied by source two. And for this pedal setup, it just means toe down. So again, if you like to leave your pedals toe down in this setup, choose multiply. And if you like to leave your pedals heel down when you're not using them, choose addition. 
So I'm going to play the loop, move the pedals around, and change the operation just to show you that that works. So that's just one way you can use the new modifier update using two pedals on the same source. Another example I want to show is using an LFO as source one and using your expression pedal as source two. This is kind of cool. And I also want to show that you can use auto engage when using two sources. So here we are with the same preset. I have the same looper playing and you can see that the wah block is off. I have the auto engage set to medium position and the off value at heel down. And you can see my EV2 here is heel down and the wah block is off. Now if I move that from heel down and move it up, you can see that the wah block has turned on. So auto engage definitely works when using two sources. Now the knob's going crazy and I'll show you why. Let me just turn that off again. For this specific example, I've set the operation to multiply. I've set the LFO as source one and I made a pretty fast rate. You'll see why in just a sec. Now I'm gonna play the loop and move the pedal up and listen to what happens. I don't want to get into too much math in this video, but because we're set to multiply here, basically the LFO is going the entire time, but the pedal being turned down is sort of limiting how much the LFO will affect that wah sound. So normally as I move the pedal up, it'll just go from a low wah sound to a higher frequency wah sound. But with this LFO going, I have it going crazy back and forth, but I can sort of limit or control the range that the LFO hits. Let's listen to that again. So that's pretty cool. Now you can control how two modifiers sort of affect each other by using the different operation settings of multiply, subtract, and add. Now remember, we have a bunch of sources, a few LFOs, ADSRs, sequencers, the pitch, all your external controllers from other MIDI sources, pedals, control switches. I mean, there's so many combinations you could do and using add, subtract, and multiply in the operation parameter will affect how they work with each other. So I'm curious to see what you guys will come up with now that we have two sources for the same modifier. It can be something as simple as using two physical pedals to control the same parameter, or you can start mixing things like LFOs and pedals or control switches or anything like that to change the sound exactly how you want it. Have fun with this one, go crazy, and let me know what you come up with either here or on the forum. All right, I'll see you guys.